Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Lewis. This is We Etiquette, and today we have not chilling rain. We have hey. blue stream sky. Hey, I'm here too. Oh yeah, we got JT here with us today. And pretty sweet box. And this is what the upcoming Evolving Skies is going to be based off of. And what's really cool about that is that a lot of the cards you're going to see pulled out of this box are going to be in the English set. So we're going to go ahead and crack open this entire box and we're going to see if we can get some fire pulls, which is, you know, kind of always the purpose. Maybe for you. <laughs> for me, it's the entire purpose. So obviously these boxes are a little bit different than the uh, American boxes. We have obviously a flat box instead of a box that's standing up on its sides. And, you know, maybe it's, that's that quality control that we miss here in uh, Pokemon Company USA. Also, you'll notice there is no branding on the wrapping. We are going to crack into this bad boy. We're going to open all these packs. I believe there's 30 total. Get this thing all the way down. There we go. Boom. Blue Stream Sky. Whole bunch of Rayquaza. That's kind of what we're looking for out of this set. And we're going to go ahead and just jump right into it. Um, I believe these packs are only five. If there is a pull, I believe it's. I don't even know. I don't, I don't know if the card trick is for this. I still haven't sorted out what all that means. I'm assuming it's common, uncommon, rare, um, really rare, really, really rare, secret rare, and hollow rare, mm -hmm. or hyper rare. I don't know how that necessarily works out. I don't know how that necessarily pans out. But jumping into this, oh man, all right, semi seer. We got some Shelter, Rengeki, right up here on that tag. Um, I do believe is Rapid Strike. We got a Sand Slash. Not really sure what that is, and that's it. So, again, five cards per set, not guaranteed anything. What? Not guaranteed anything. How much was this box? <laughs> in the pack. So, allocation does exist in the uh, Japanese sets. There should be about 15 pulls in this box. Um, and, you know, we'll probably get something. One thing I don't like about this set is that you can't really open it from the top gotta open it from the side but at least there's no code card there is no code card well which is problematic because that means that these things can be weighed and this is the reason that there's a big hype around the next set coming is that they're bringing back dragon type so i mean so you can see with that bagan right there we got hop if we got nine tails that's pretty sweet that was a common in the set oh we got a hollow rare victini sick so that's pretty dope that is one pull and, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to pretty much penny sleeve anything, any kind of pull we get out of here. Just because, you know, we can. Boom. There it is. Victini. First pull. Like I said, nothing is guaranteed in these packs, so I am going to start trying to get through these fairly judiciously. I'm not trying to make a super long video today, guys. Uh, don't forget to uh, don't forget to subscribe. Like the video if you like the content. Subscribe if you want some more. Seems pretty fair. Don't like so it, it seems like if you move this card to the front, that card, if it's going to be a rare of any kind, is what it's going to be. Not sure who that is. It's a Shelter Tropius. Um, that is the Galarian something one another. And we got a Flapple looking like a pie, maybe? I don't know. Maybe that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to start describing these cards by what they look like. That's what I was Instead of by their actual names. So. I feel like a lot of times that's what they do when they're naming them anyways. Yeah, right? Flapple. Got some Flapple for me, bro. Alright, so we got a mask. A very happy little girl. I do know that is Shelter. That is Vulpix. And a... Unhollow Senescorch. I imagine this is going to be one of the rares in the newer set. It is Rapid Strike. 
Um, so the difference between rapid strike and uh, single strike, if you didn't know, is basically the color and some effects. I am kind of pulling these randomly out of the uh, the box here. So I don't know where the poles are or where they would be if there's going to be poles. Now, I don't think it says it on the back here. Maybe it does. It looks like one in, or there's 29 different commons, 21 different uncommons. The Japanese sets are a lot smaller. So what they'll actually do for the uh, American sets is they'll combine two different sets. So this will be Eevee Heroes or the Evolving Skies will be Eevee Heroes and this uh, Blue Sky Stream. Got some Tropius here, Toxel, and a, uh, man, that looked hollow. It's just gray, but another Flapple. Another Flapple, that's all right. Gray and depressing. <laughs> gray and depressing border, it wasn't hollow, nothing. So, but I don't know, man. I, I gotta say, I kind of like the idea yes. of the, um, you know, just them being five cards, no guarantee. But the allocation is what's important. Got a Vulpix and a non-hollow Beware. I do know I do know some of these. Beware of spending too much money on Pokemon cards. Got to beware of that. But we still got that, that hollow rare Vic Chini. That makes me really happy. This is one of my favorite Pokemon. Actually, that is my favorite Pokemon. Yeah, I pulled that VMAX, that Victini VMAX, and then it was Chili Marine, right? Yeah. Or was that Battle Styles? Uh, Battle Styles. Okay. But as you can see, the uh, the backs of the Pokemon cards in the Japanese set are different. I got a Chansey, Plusle, a Pan Sage, and a non hollow rare. Shoot. Um, non hollow rare, uncommon. Oh. Uh, Ampharos. But again, I imagine that you're going to see that Ampharos as a rare. I think that they're going to make that Ampharos a rare. Maybe you should just start pulling from one side. Maybe. Current. We're pulling from Energy. Sandshrew. <laughs> just different box entirely. Uh, the, the Jumpluff. Stantler. Nice. And another Flapple. Just a different variation of it. Dude, I pulled so many flapples. So many flapples. Please, please don't be like chilling ran here. What I'm really, the only thing I'm really actually concerned with in the next set that's coming out um, is, is their quality going to be complete trash? Stantler, Sandshrew, Simi Sage. Oh, there we go. A Volcarona V. And if I am understanding correctly, the eyes look... Yeah, there we go. Those eyes look absolutely crazy. Those things are awesome. All right, cool. So we got our first V-pole of the box, and we're not even that deep into it. Oh, God. All right, so jumping on into the next one here. Um, also, I'm noticing a severe lack of uh, energies. You should probably hit a drink. Huh. He's got plenty of energy. Happy girl. Darmanis. Oh, whoa. What? Wasn't expecting that. Whoa. Is that a full art? That's a VMAX Gyarados. That is beautiful. Uh, and they do actually texture. It's kind of hard to pick up on camera here, but uh, they do actually texture these cards as well. So That's a really, really pretty that card. That is a beautiful card. Something again we can expect in... Evolving Skies, the English set, uh, which I do have allocation for. I will get a couple ETBs up on the channel as soon as physically possible. Let's see if we can get some more dankness over here. Another Ampharos. I'm starting to think that's probably just going to be an uncommon. Mareep. Darmanitan. Oh, that's a hollow rare. That's actually Reggie Draco. That's badass. Are they going to have the Reggies in this new set? Porta! Yeah, so this is uh, Reggie uh, Draco. This is actually one of the Reggies. So you have like Reggie Ice, Reggie Steel, um, Reggie Gigas. So the new ones for um, the, I believe it was the Crown Tundra. So what um, actually all of, so far as I'm aware, um, Chilling Rain was based off of. Dude. 
So have we, you seen those memes of FIFA? <laughs> Draco Malfoy about to say Porter. Oh god. <laughs> Dude. So many. Oh. So we got So we got so we got one of the Reggies, and it is a dragon type, which has given me more and more hope that the next set is going to have dragon type. We got a Claydol, the unevolved version of Flapple, Bagan, and a hollow rare Zygarde. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. As far as I'm concerned, these are all hits. Are they though? Yeah. I mean, two dragons and a victory? Come on. Well, we got, I mean, that Gyarados VMAX is fire. And I don't know if that's an alternate art. I don't, I don't know how that's going to work. I'll have to look these up uh, later on TCG Player. You guys will obviously, you know, see it in the video. We got a scroll of something, for sure. Rapid Strike. Simi Seer. Sand Slash. And we got a Hollow Rare Landorus. That is baller. Can't say that I like the hollows too much on these, but... You know, whatever. We've gotten, what, four hollows, a V, and a V Max? I mean, I'm not digging it, man. Not, uh, not too shabby. Too shabby, in my opinion. All right. Turtonator. That's what I want to say. I don't know who that is. Plusle. Bacon. And a popsicle. A popsicle. Yeah, it's a blue popsicle. Hell yeah. And a tiny presser. Yeah. Alright, I want to try to like pull these out of here. Oh, that is a popsicle. Hashtag RIP Jiraiya. <laughs> you wouldn't know. You would not know what well, That's what we're looking with left. So let's see if we can uh, pull some absolute fire right here. I imagine that Do we you can. And we get ourselves Colorless Energy, Jump Pluff, Skip Plume, I don't know what it's called, Shelter. Happy Boy. Oh, nice. Trevenant V. Who is that? Trevenant. It's uh, the Gourd. It, that, that is an evolution of it, but I do notice that they kind of do that periodically. Is that they will make them basic cards so if you guys didn't know obviously like this bulk around to this trevenant right here in the tcg uh game right there is a kind of functionality of it where you have to play the basic card before you can play the evolution uh these v cards kind of skip that and they go from v to v max so obviously it has to be the same card but it's just kind of how that works I'd like to get one of these packs where I can just, you know, open it, not screw it up. All right, another Flapple. That's getting annoying. I just, I'm going to have flashbacks to Chilling Rain pulling the same dumb card over and over again. Got a great ball. Keep going here. Try not to, like, mess with these cards too much. Peel them back a little bit. Start going into hyper mode because oh, got another pop school. Happy girl, Megan, Mary. Oh, secret rare. That's pretty. Secret rare. That boy that I'm pretty sure is the same thing as that little kid we keep pulling. Um, holding a pokeball. That is absolute fire. I know secret rares are not actually guaranteed in this set, so pulling one is legit. Definitely going to be top loader worthy. And let's get this guy in here. Boom. Wow. Well, just look at it. Just look at it. Boom. There it is. Just look at it. Sitting in the top loader. It's actually looking pretty solid because the Japanese know how to freaking measure. So this, that is uh, so this pretty. One, this Why does that look nicer than the American ones? Uh, or probably, the English ones, sorry. Yeah, probably because they're not rushing to get these things out in Japan. Wow. So, very pretty card. It's got like a shatter design too, almost. Or like a circle and like star Yeah, the seeker rare is not as lazy, it seems, in the Japanese version. Get that guy right there. 
And Is he centered? I don't know if I did this ready. If not, that's gonna be the rare. No, okay. So we got that weird mask. Love to know what they say in uh, English. Any of my Japanese followers? I know I got plenty of you guys on here. Um, we got Toxel. Let me know if I'm saying any of this stuff wrong. Ball toy. Nice. Hollow rare Salamence. Yeah, I can get down with that. I like Salamence. I use them a lot on Pokemon Go. Yeah, I mean, out of the uh, hollow rares that we've gotten, three of them have been dragons. Yeah. So that, that gives me hope. Haven't pulled a Rayquaza yet, but... Yet. Yet. Have faith, my friend. Faith is what I shall do. Will we get it here? I don't know. It's flaffy. I don't know if that was correct. We got uh, Nine Tails. We got Mary. Simi Sage. Nice. Oh, Gyarados V. Gyarados? Sick. So Gyar we got the Gyarados V and the Gyarados V Max. Awesome. Oh, that's what happened on the, the Chilling Rain Pack or the Chilling Rain Booster Box, remember? And it feels absolutely amazing. The cuts are not messed up at all. Beautiful, beautiful card. Um, it is a V, though. So it's just going to go over here with all the V stuff. Uh huh. Demoted. Demoted. Demoted down to nothing. So we can get a little bit of a show here. These are our hollow rares. These gonna... cards do feel nicer too. They do, yeah. I they like do. the quality of these a lot more. These are our V pulls so far. Obviously we got our secret rare and our V Max. We still got a grip of cards to go. I mean And we're doing really packs. well, right? I mean yeah, I mean, this is this is pretty solid. So there's allocation, so there should be 15 pulls in this set. Uh, but I there mean, can always be more, right? Uh, yeah, I, I reckon so. Hey, a popsicle, that's kind of what I was getting used to. We got a Vulpix, Cragonol. Dryad. Oh, nice, dude, Reggie Alecki. We got both the Reggies. Nice, both the new Reggies from the Chilling Rain DLC. Chilling Rain DLC, the uh, Chilling Crown Rain Tundra. DLC, that's what it feels like. Yeah, you got the uh, Crown Tundra DLC, so we got both of the Reggies. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. Oh, I love this Chansey artwork. Jumping into the next one. Yeah, the Chansey, yeah, the Chansey looks great. And the Vulpix is really nice, too. Mm-hmm. I like these more illustrated ones. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Well, I believe this is going to be the same artwork that's a nice. We got the whole evolution right here. Is it? Yep. Yeah. Flapple. Oh, awesome. <laughs> you know what we needed more of, guys? Flapple. Flapple. Dude, never have enough. Ooh, Trevenant VMAX. What is that? That's the VMAX for this guy right here. Hell yeah, man. There we go. Give you guys a good look at that. That's such a pretty card. Beautiful centering. Back centering actually Not that great. looks pretty flawless. Mm, look, Maybe heavy like, on the yeah, right. That's what I'm saying. Look but the right side. still, I mean... Gorgeous card, I love it. Compared to the BS I've been seeing lately in these English sets. But yeah, and just so you guys know, if you guys weren't aware, um, Japanese cards, while have a lesser value, generally speaking, in the United States, um, do have value. I mean, a lot of these cards are worth money. So if you guys are in it for, you know, the collecting for, you know, kind of like the, the Pokemon stock, then, you know, Japanese cards, if you can get a hold of them, they are a little tough to find. Finding this box was not easy. expensive when you find them. Yeah, this, this set was fairly staunch. So, but they do maintain value uh, currently. And, oh, oh almost yeah. dropped it. Almost yeah. dropped it. And we got uh, some sort of weird looking tattoo. It's an amateur hour over there, Lewis. Amateur, dude, I'm saying, bro. Not amateur hour when I pulled that freaking <laughs> secret <laughs> rare. Man. Or those VMAXs. I'm really happy for me. Yeah. Another flap one. Man, I am, dude. I, dude, I am getting point, absolute anxiety just understanding how many of these cards I'm going to be pulling in the next set. Is there a V version of the Flapple? I, not, well, there I is. I really hope so. There is in the old sets. Nice. Hollow Rare Jump Luff. I've been seeing a bunch of those on Pokemon Go, and uh, I never catch them. Well, it's a useless card. Yeah, it's a useless Pokemon. Like, it I, don't, have an evolution I don't know what that says. A one cost for 60 on a third evolution is bad. But that ability might be fire. Like, I have no idea. Like, if you can read that, if you can tell me what that says, drop it down in the comments, guys. And as always, don't forget, like, subscribe. If you guys like the video, drop a like. It's a thumbs up. It costs you absolutely nothing. Check out the Instagram at weeb underscore etiquette. 
And uh, we do have another uh, podcast episode coming out uh, probably around the same time as this video. Finally. Uh, yeah. We were supposed to be doing weekly episodes, but that didn't uh, that didn't go over so well. You know, life happens. Life happens. All right. <laughs> we got that. <laughs> I don't know what her name is. Skiploom. We got uh, Sizzlipede. And we got Seniscorch. Nice. So another, another evolution situation going on there. No hard feelings. We got about another one, two, three, four, five, six packs. Got another six packs on this episode. Um, so we're gonna try to hey, careful, jam man. through these. My peek at you. <laughs> we have a ray gun. We have the Stantler. That's actually a different artwork, or maybe it's not. I don't know. Toxel and uh, Cloister. I imagine this is probably gonna be another rare in the set. Which Oyster? again, Why? yeah, because it was in the original. Yes. So you know, I, like I said, I mean the polls are the polls, right? So anybody that's like, you know, we're having a tough time pulling cards out of this set, it's like yeah, they're allocated. So we got Plusle. Nice. I haven't seen any uh, rap or single strike, so I'm kind of wondering if this is actually what I think it is. Ah. Come on. Heartbreaking, heartbreaking, heartbreaking. Still, that being said, I think we might have, if we haven't reached the allocation yet, we're very close. So again, it's, uh, I believe it's 30 packs, or 36 packs, something like that for these boxes, and uh, each have five cards. But you gotta understand that the, if you can see down here, these, uh, these sets are actually very small compared to the American sets, because the American sets, it's like the two sets in one, right? I think I can see something back there. We got Baltoy, and we got oh, Dragonite V. That is freaking awesome. Mom. Mom, I pulled the Dragonite. Oh. <laughs> awesome. She's so proud. We're, we're just down here in the basement. She's so proud of me. Yeah. There's nothing going on here. We're actually 12. She said uh, pizza rolls will be done in a minute. Nice. So I was, I was hoping for pizza rolls. Yeah. So, I, man, those dragon cards are fire. Still, yeah, it's I will just a say, bee, but look how pretty that is. I was kind of hoping to pull Rayquaza on this. That's okay. Then I have to be the alt art. I was kind of hoping to pull a Rayquaza. That's all right, man. All right, so we got ourselves Blissey, Simi Sage, Simi Seer, Stuffle, and Cloister. a Cloister. And we are coming down to the wire on this one. Last two packs, last ten cards. Can we get some more magic? Or do we reach our allocation? I haven't counted these. And the allocation is just that you're going to have, you know, 15 pulls. Plato, Plusle. And maybe see some. Simi Seer. The apple thing. Oh. A hollow rare toxicity. Nice. Oh, you need that. Nobody wanted that. Nobody. We wanted, we wanted VV Max. Secrets. Dude, I wanted this whole box to be secret rares. That's what you told me was going to happen. Not, no, I said that there was going to be allocation on the set, not what they were going to be. Yeah. All right, so we got a Senna Scorch. Last pack of luck, come on. Plusle. Do the spirit bomb technique. That didn't work. It was, a, uh, it was a ray gun. So with that said, guys, I definitely appreciate you joining. These are the pulls of the episode today. As always, again, appreciate it. So why don't you guys go ahead and check out the next episode or next video that pops up here in a second.